in the lesson today, we are working with linear inequalities. So the sharp end is the smaller and the mouth is open toward the higher quantity. You can think of the alligator is hungry, it's greedy or something like that to help you remember which way do I turn for less or for more. All of these are comparison symbols. We have the equals with the two dash, but not equal is when we have the slash by the two dash. This is not equal in orange, bottom left corner. Then we also have graders, less than, greater than or equal to. And when we have greater or equal, we also have the dash underneath the greater than. Less than or equal to, we also have a little dash to show under the less than symbol. In this work, solve and graph inequalities, I want to go ahead and do some guided practice with you. you this jumping symbol is just to remind you that we use the inverse operation in solving the equation with inequalities. Everything is the same, just like when you solve the equation with the equal symbol. Now it is an inequality and whether it turned this way or turned this way, you're going to use the exact symbol instead of the equal sign in solving your equation. There is just one step that you need to keep in mind when you solve this that is different than when you with the equal symbol in your equation. And I, we will talk about it as we move on. choose one of these four, we will do the one that you might think difficult. Number one, number one, I always start with your variable, whichever side it's on. x divided by 2 plus 3 greater than 9. What I will do is I will do the inverse and my farthest away friend is the plus 3. So the inverse of adding 3 will be minus 3. And I will also have to do that to both sides. Just because I have an inequality, it doesn't mean that I only do it to one side. And remember, this is our river line. and keep our inequality straight. I'm going to draw a line underneath and we will simplify. We will get x over 2 on the left hand side that still stay there I will bring it down and then positive 3 minus 3 I will get 0 I will not write that down 9 minus 3 I will get 6 on the right hand side for adding and subtracting everything stay the same and I want you to pay attention to the inequality sign it is staying exactly the way it's given to me in the problem on the very top only when I need to multiply or divide a negative number, that's when it will flip around. So if it's this way, it will flip this way. Uh, what I will do next is solve this for x and make it stay by itself. Right now, x is dividing 2. So inverse operation again. I multiply 2 onto both sides. Because I'm multiplying a positive number, my inequality will stay the same. Only, again, only when I multiply or divide a negative number, that's when it will flip this the opposite way. And remember, when we are multiplying 2 on the left-hand side, this is like 2 over 1. And that's how we can cancel out the 2 right here. And x is going to be by itself. x is greater than 12. Let's say if I have a little dash under here, I would make it a solid dot but I don't have the dash under or I don't have the equal in the equations then it an open dot on the 12 and we are going to say that it's greater than 12 so 13 14 15 is going to the right and shade everything to the right you can make it shading in with a pencil or you can make it a squiggly line like that with the arrow point to the right this is the way that you are going to graph for number one. We will talk about how you would solve number four. Get the five eliminated first. 
And you do that by multiply 5 to both sides. And then you're going to eliminate the negative 4 by adding 4 to both sides. And then you're done. Because we are multiplying a positive, and because we're adding, we, we are going to keep the inequality exactly the same as it's showing right here. We don't flip it. Our goal is to have x or whatever variable given in your problem on its own. We're solving and we're doing the inverse operation. Everything is the same. When you have the equal sign, I guess the tricky part also apply, but when with the equal sign, remember it's two equal lines. So two straight line, when it flip, it's not going to make a difference. But with the inequality, it would. Um, this is the part that I put in red right here. It said flip the inequality symbol given when you multiply or divide a negative numbers. And this is the very important part. I'm going to go ahead and underline it again. You flipped it when you multiply or divide a negative numbers. What happened if you multiply or divide a positive number? It stayed the same as we demonstrated in the earlier problem. With number six, uh, let's go ahead and solve it. The first thing is the line to keep the inequality simple straight. Oops, I just noticed that we have variable on both sides. Don't be scared, this is fun. Um, with the variable on both sides, what I would do is I would still try to get the number onto this side, the variable on the left side, instead of writing 20 right underneath the minus or negative 11x. I'm going to write it slightly off because I know that they're not going to be like term. It doesn't have the x. So I'm not going to combine with the negative 11x over here. I'm just going to write it over here. Draw a black line underneath to simplify. What we will do is we will bring down this negative 6x. We will bring that down. The Positive and negative 20 will cancel out, but I'm going to take those canceling off because I think that's messy. It's up to you if you want to leave it in there in your problem. I don't mind. And then what we will have on the right-hand side is going to be negative 11x minus 20. Next step is to bring the like term together, which is the negative 11x on the right-hand side. I will bring it to the left. And this is the step that you could have done before you subtract 20 to both sides. Or to cancel out the negative 11x on the right hand side, I must add 11x. And that way this will cancel out on the right hand side. Simplified, I will get negative 6 plus 11. I will be left with 5x and that will be on the left hand side. This will cancel out and I will only bring down the negative 20. We are still going to keep inequality symbol the same, uh, the exact same way because we are dividing five into both sides. When we're dividing a positive, everything stays the same. Divide by five on both sides and I will be done. On the left hand side, when I divide by five, it cancel out. On the right hand side, when I divide by five into negative 20, I will get negative four. My answer is now going to be negative 4. And what I will do when I graph this is be careful of the interval between here, 0 to negative 8. My negative 4 would have to be between these two. This is it. Um, it is a greater or equal to, and notice there's a little dash underneath the inequality. It's going to be greater or equal to, I'm going to make a solid dot instead of open dot. Remember when we would use an open dot? Yeah, when when there's no equal in the problem. x greater than negative 4, it would be negative 3, negative 2, going to 0 in that direction. So I would have to shade it to the right hand side and make my arrow to show that it's going on forever to the right of negative 4. This is just an example and it might or it might not be on the work that I assigned. Let me go ahead and show you how to solve this type of problem. We're starting out with the river lines. We are going to do the inverse operations and I have zero on the right hand side. What I will do is I want to get rid of the 15 and the negative five with the K. So I can get K solved. And the 
friends away from the K is positive 15. I will subtract 15 to both sides first. My closest friend go last. And that is something that I keep in mind. <clears throat> if you're wondering, how come I get rid of the 15? Why not the 5 first? Right? 5 is closer to K. So it's going last. Now, I add fifth, I mean, subtract 15 to both sides. I will cancel out the left-hand side. And I will be left with negative 5K greater or equal to negative 15. I only add or subtract, the sign will not flip. It stays the same. This is where the next part will apply. Uh, I will have negative 5 times K. Remember, when there's nothing in between the 5 and the K, it's multiplying. And so we have to do the inverse by dividing negative 5 into both sides. And when we divide a negative number or multiply a negative number, what will happen to the inequality symbol is that it will flip the opposite direction. I'm going to use the exact same symbol. Remember, it has a little equal, a dash underneath. It will flip the other way. Divide negative 5 into the left, I will cancel it out. On the right, negative 5 into negative 15, I will get positive 3. K is less than or equal to 3. And when it's less than or equal, there's an equal in there, I'm going to make a solid dot instead of an open dot on the positive 3. And it's less than or equal to. So less will go to the left. The answer is 3, 2, 1, 0, negative 1, negative 2, and so on. Now it's your turn to practice. Have fun. Thanks for watching. I hope you find it helpful. See you next time.